How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching another video. So tonight I'm going to be changing out the rear brakes in my car. And for me, this is the first time I'm doing a drum brake replacement. We're going to be replacing the brake cylinder and most of the hardware, the drum itself, and definitely the brake shoes. Now I've been putting off this repair for a few years right now and the grinding has gotten totally out of control. Let me show you why. All right, so here are the brake shoes from my driver's side rear. Now, if you've never seen drum brakes, they work a little bit different from the rotor brakes in the front. Uh, the front end has a rotor. Basically, what happens is... All right, here are the brake shoes from my rear driver's side. And if you've never seen drum brakes, they work differently than rotor brake system. All right, so here are the brake shoes from my rear driver's side. Now, if you've never seen drum brakes, they work a little bit different than the brakes on the front. On the front end, you have something that basically works like a bicycle brake. There's a rotor, and when you step on the brake, there's some calipers that pinch down the brake pads, and that's what stops you in the front. On the rear, when you step on the brake, these push outwards. And this one is the one that was making all the calamity. The awesomest grinding noise, and let me show you why. So look at that, not this portion here, but all the brake material is gone <laughs> up there in the front. So the drum is up here and it's pushing against that drum. And I'm going to show you uh, what that drum looks like. But it's all gone here. You can see that there's a little bit of surface left like here. But really nothing up top here. It's all gone. The rear one was doing okay. But still, you know, you got to replace them both. In fact, here's what a new one looks like. You can just see how thick that surface is <laughs> compared to that <laughs> uh let me show you what the drum looks like all right here is what the drum looks like so as you're stepping on your brake the shoes will press out on the outside and slow your vehicle down let me flip this over i think these are made of cast iron these are real heavy they do a really good job at dispersing heat but you can see here right on the inside let me see if i can zoom you guys in just a little bit it's like the rings of saturn in here <laughs> that's what the uh that worn down brake shoe when it's metal on metal it's got all these grooves all the way through and that's what was making that grinding noise so definitely time to change them out all right so here is the order of operation the first thing we're going to do is try to get the old drum off by either using a hammer or there are two holes in there that we can screw these in and kind of force that drum off and if you're wondering what bolt size i'm using it's this one all right, once the drum is off, we're going to hit it with some brake clean because it's going to be really, really dirty. When you first start off, you just kind of want to gently squirt this brake clean because you don't want that dust to fly all over the place. And this brake dust is fine. I mean, such a fine powder, you don't want to breathe it in. So start off by spraying it all over the place very slowly and then blast it in there to clean off all of that residue so you can see what you're looking at. Also, before starting to spray, make sure you have some cardboard underneath your brakes as well as a plastic container to catch all that junk that's going to be following through. Now, next up, after you're done cleaning it up, you want to make sure that you take an accurate picture as to how these springs fit into what gaps. Like, for example, I don't remember if it's the long side or the short side that has to be facing forward on the star adjuster. And I don't exactly remember how this hooks into the bracket. So as I'm going through it, I'm going to be taking pictures of it in video so I can remember how to put it back together. That's super important. You also want to take special care as to what brake shoe is in the front. Now, for example, I already know that the one with more space needs to be in the front because the one on the rear has less space. So just remember when you're taking your pictures and you're taking it out, put them down in the order that you're taking them out so that you can see which ones go where. All right, the first thing we're going after is this clip. And it's going to be right in here, just like that. And what I'm going to try to do is, is get my screwdriver on here because there's going to be a pin sticking there. And I want to get this so it's facing right up here to the top and then separate these two from each other because they're going to be pinched down on the pin. But what I want to do is get them separated so I can just pop it off while it's on the car. And that's the uh, first thing we're going to do is try to get this clip off the pin that's going to be inserted right here. Now the second thing we're going to go after is the star adjuster, which the star adjuster is on the car. I'm not replacing that. But the idea here is to get the spring to close a little bit so I can come in with these vices and then unhook it. And that'll undo the star adjuster. Next up, we're going to be going after these spring pins here. And as you can see, there is a little slot right here 
and you need to turn it in order to release it. So I'm going to come in with these pliers like that. I'm going to push the spring down and turn it. Now they do have special tools for these uh, if you want to get them. It makes the job a little bit easier. I'll leave links in the description below if you want to do it. But you don't really need to have them. So I'm going to get my hand here, wrap it around the backing plate. I'm going to hold this pin down to stop it from turning. Grip it like that. Push it in and turn it to release that. So I'm going to do it for this side and on this side. And then from there it's pretty easy. This spring is just kind of hooked right into these areas here. You're just going to undo that. And the last thing I have is just my brake cylinder that I'm going to be replacing. Just two 10 millimeter bolts in the back that I got it removed. And of course because we're removing the brake cylinder you have to bleed the brake. So if you're going to be replacing the brake cylinder just remember to have some brake fluid available. And also remember to make sure that you got the correct one for your vehicle. All right, just a couple of things before getting started. The first thing I would do is get in your car and kind of take notice as to where that handbrake is at. And also remember to release the handbrake before doing the repair because if you leave it on, you're not going to be able to get anything out. But take notice to where that handbrake is going to grab because you're going to have to adjust that with the star adjuster that we're going to see later on in the video. Now, if you get into your car and you get into your handbrake and you just can't get it to that first ratchet, that means the pads, the shoe pads are hitting the drum and you got to loosen the tension a little bit versus the other way if you get in there and you yank on that e-brake and there's no resistance and it's facing the ceiling that means the pads are too far in and you got to push them out a little bit so for this car just remember to tighten up and out you tighten up and then to loosen down is where you're going to kind of loosen up that tension and the way that i did this on the second uh drum is i pushed the pads out so far that i couldn't even get the drum on and that just kind of gave me a reference point and I just kind of backed them in slowly, backed them in slowly till I could fit the drum on it. And then I just loosened it up a little bit and it was just right. So that's what I would do as far as getting that adjustment right. Let's knock off that drum. Alright, I didn't have to use the bolts and as you could see when I hammered it in, you could see all that fine kind of brake dust coming out and it's just coated with all that craziness. So I'm just going to squirt it down with some brake cleaner now, have it drip down right down in here. All right, so I've got enough of the dust out where I can work on this without inhaling it. And here is that clip I was talking about right here. So you got to find a flathead that's big enough to fit in here and wedge right in between this lip here. And, you know, every vehicle is going to be different. But basically, I'm just going to keep pushing this until it hits right on top here and just try to get these two points open so I can pop off the clip. All right, so I've opened up the two points here on the horseshoe clip. All I got to do is get my flat head just like this, get a hammer, and just punch it out. And don't forget to take out the washer. All right, next point of attack is the star adjuster right here. And I'm going to use this hole to stick a screwdriver right through here. And I'm going to be adjusting it downwards so I can get some tension off these springs here. And uh, just a point of reference for me, the short side is facing the front, long side is facing the back. Now there's a little lever back there, you see where it's touching? So one of the screwdrivers is going to push that backwards as I'm rotating this down. All right, I believe I have relieved enough tension on this spring here. So what I'm going to do is get these vice grips in here, clamp onto it, and then use this end of the hub to kind of pry it off. And uh, hopefully that'll work. All right, that worked out really well. You can see now the star adjuster is two pieces. There's that front portion and this rear portion here. And now the spring is pretty much free to unhook from this side. So all I'm gonna do is unhook that there and the star adjuster will be free. 
All right, got a good grip on that, and all right, I think that side is now free. Yep. All right, this is what the right half of the star adjuster looks like, and again, just taking a video to remind me that the short side goes to the front. The other half of it is still clamped into the other uh, shoe, so I'm going to have to undo that first to put them together. Uh, but that's what the star adjuster looks like. Put that right here. All right, next up are these spring pins. Grab here. Open this up. Push in. And that's pretty much it. There's only two springs left. This guy right here that doesn't need any tools to take out. You just got to remember how that fits in there. And then one on the bottom holding both of the shoes together. And that's about it. I'm going to just take it apart, clean up some of the parts, and uh, put it back together. Let me take a step backwards here and explain why we decided to take off the horseshoe clip while it was on the vehicle. Uh, now, after removing the spring from here, we don't have to worry about removing the brake cable that's under here and the entire bracket. We can just take this off as a separate piece. So it's a lot easier to just leave it on the vehicle. And that's what I was talking about. Now the bracket can stay on the car and all we got to do is get the new shoe and replace it. All right, I've got the other side of the star adjuster cleaned up. Now it's time to put on the new spring and clean up this guy. So I'm just going to back this out. Okay. And then take this spring out. All right, before putting these two back together, I'm not too sure what I can use to put in here, but the only thing I got is some of this copper anti-C. So I'm just gonna put a dab of it, just like right like that. That should be enough in there. All right, let me get this back together. Okay, got it all cleaned up. That's put back together here. Here's the other side, nice and clean. Now I'm just gonna take some time to clean up this back plate here. Um, then I'll, I'll change out the uh, brake cylinder. All right, that is about as clean as I wanna get this back plate here. You just wanna make sure that your touching points are all clean. So I have one here, one here, one that's on the bottom, one here, let me get this bracket out the way over here, one right here, and then there's gonna be another one right down here on the bottom, which are all clean. And then I'm gonna come in and just put a little bit of this anti-seize on there so that it doesn't squeal. But let's get her back together. All right, we're gonna start the reassembly with the rear shoe first and then work our way to the forward one. And it's important to remember that you have to lubricate your contact points. I'm using the copper anti-seize and the hole where this pin is at right here, you might have to clear the paint out with a needle nose plier, or maybe a screwdriver. Don't forget to put the washer in and squeeze that those two points down there you know, as, as close as you can. I mean, there's still a little space in there with mine, but that, that's as close as I can get it. Hopefully it doesn't fall out there. Uh, and then of course, you're gonna get your spring pin in there. You wanna rotate it to 90 degrees, make sure that stays in there. You're gonna put that side of the star adjuster in here. And don't forget to put that red spring back down on the bottom. That's gonna connect to the other side. And that's pretty much it. Let's move to the other side. All right, so we got the bottom spring back in spring pin in, turn it 90 degrees. Next, we gotta get the star adjuster back in here. All right, here probably is the trickiest part. So I got the star adjuster back in here. Again, the short side is facing the engine. The hook is placed in here. Now what I gotta do is squish the two brake shoes together and then just make sure that I get the star adjuster back into this end of it. And then once I get that all put back together, I gotta grab that with the vise and then get it back into that hole. So that's gonna be a little bit tricky.
All right, let me zoom you guys in here. So you see this lever right here? You gotta push back on that and then close together because that has to be in the rear of the star adjuster. So that is a little bit tricky along with keeping that spring out of the way. But all you gotta do is mess around with it and it'll be fine. So just gotta get that lever out of the way, clear this spring out of the way, and then it'll fit back together. All right, after a little bit of a struggle, I was able to grab this end of the spring and drag it into this hole here. Now all that's left is to bleed the brakes and adjust the star adjuster so that the brakes just barely touch the hub. And of course your new drums are gonna be covered with a layer of oil. So just a little bit of brake cleaner, just to clean it up. All right, I got the brakes bled, drum is on. Now with it on, I'm gonna rotate this. And uh, there's a little bit of drag on here, just a little bit too much. That means that the brake shoes on the inside are just touching the edges here. So I'm going to take the drum off and get to the star adjuster and make those adjustments so I can loosen it up just a little bit so I can get a little bit more spin on there. I mean, ever so slightly, maybe just a few clicks.